everybody welcome back to the channel for those of you that are new i'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts um one of the things that i'm going to do is i'm working on an order right now and we're going to be embroidering a baby heirloom blanket um someone ordered one from me and i'm going to be embroidering an elephant with the child's name on it um these blankets are really really cool they're very very popular too um a lot of people use them for baptism they use them for newborns um and you know another thing also that people use these for is for their grandmas okay a lot of people like to use these as lap blankets um i have a video of where i created one for my mom where i put the entire family um tree on it i embroidered the whole tree on it so um it was very very popular it was well received and um this is really something that a lot of people have been you know liking a lot so i wanted to uh show you guys how i do the actual baby one okay so um as you can see these are um they're called heirloom um baby quilts okay and they have the little medallions they usually come with like um three across and it's usually four rows okay so they have about um 12 medallions all throughout and this particular customer asked for the white with the blue trim and i am going to be embroidering on the corner I, i'm going to embroider an elephant with the child's name on it okay so I'll, let's go over to the computer and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to actually put on this blanket, okay? Okay, as we move across, um, we're going to see Mello over here because he likes to chase lights and everything, right, Mello? Yep, you're on a mission? Okay. All right, so I'm going to move the camera up a little bit and that way you guys can see my Mac. And let me move it around a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, this is the design that I'm going to be doing to put on the actual um, blanket. Um, the hoop that I'm going to be using is a Mighty Hoop, which is an 8 by 13 Mighty Hoop. And um, I bought this design, and all I did was I just add the child's name on it, okay? Um, there are so many designs. If you, if you go to Etsy or um, any type of particular... Um, website that has embroidery files and you type baby elephants you'll get a whole variety of beautiful different types of embroidery files and this one is really cute and this is the one that the customer asked so i've already saved this you know i've already adjusted the um the name and um, i'm gonna save this and i'm going to now um you know, put it on the machine, set up the machine, and I'm also going to, let me show you how I actually hoop the blanket, okay? So, um, I'm going to move you guys around a little bit. Um, Got to scoop around because of Mello, and as you can see, he's he's chasing lights over there, you know? Um, okay, so we are over here at the Mighty Hoop Station, and let me pull out my hoop for this uh, machine is actually going to be the 10 needle machine hoop and I have two of them right here and this is the one that I need. Uh, sorry about that guys, I am not prepared. Here we go, all right, there we go. Okay, this is the hoop that I need. This is the one with the handles, okay? Sorry about that. Okay, this is another project for a customer that I'm working on. Um, let me move that aside. So what I'm going to do is I, I like my um, Mighty Hoop Station because this is really where I get to like put my Mighty Hoops and kind of align my items. These are the extenders um, that I purchased from them as well. I use these a lot. And all you do is just move them up and down. Um, they're worth every penny because I have... You know, I mean, this stuff is expensive, but I will tell you, they they work really, really well. I mean, they, they work great for me. All right, so what I usually do is I'll put my uh, tear away. I'm using tear away for this project. And I'm just going to have it snap here. Oh, boy. Nope, it didn't snap. Okay, 
Okay, hold on one minute. I'll get this thing going here. Okay. There you go. This works. All right. So I didn't snap it on the top because it's not long enough, but it's fine. It's fine. It's going to work. And so, because once I snap this in, it will, it will hold. Okay. So here I have the baby blanket. Now, one of the things that I always, whoops. Okay. One of the things that I always tell people to do, and I'm going to say it again, is when you make things, make sure that you tag your items, especially if you're selling. Okay. Because what's going to happen is the conversation is going to happen where they're going to be like, oh my God, that's a cute item. Where did you get it? They're going to say Etsy. And they're going to say, well, what shop in Etsy? Oh, I don't remember. Well, now they do remember because they can just look on here and you have the tag that actually says the, um, the shop. And let me give you a close up of what my tag looks like. So that way you can see. Okay. It actually shows, um, there you go. Here's, there you go. It's focused where it's made. It's made by an Etsy shop and it, that's my Etsy shop's name. So these are really, really good to do. I do it on everything that I sell. My kitchen towels, my dinner napkins, my, the baby blankets, everything. Because this is really neat, okay? Because you want people to remember you, okay? So I usually have the tags at the bottom. But for the baby blanket, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it on the opposite end, which is here. And then what I'm just doing right now is I'm going to align the blanket um, like this, best way possible. I think what I'll do is I'll do it from here, from an angle, because I want it to be like right here in the middle. There you go. Have it in the middle, or I can do it this way too. I don't think the customer really minds. I think it's fine. I think it's fine this way. And so, if you know what, I better look at my sample and see what angle we put the sample on. Okay, I always have my samples and stuff. Now, my sample is right here in the corner. So, I am not going to do it this way. I'm going to do it in the corner. This is how I have it in the picture. So, I want to make sure that I actually do it the same exact way that I have it in my picture. So, because I have it here in the corner, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to align it this way. And let's see. And I do it here so that way it's kind of like right here in this little center. There we go. And now I'm going to take my Mighty Hoop here and I'm just going to, there you go. And it's nice and taut, nice and tight here. There you go. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to my tenue machine and I'm going to plug it in. But before I plug it in, I have to install the file on my tenue machine and I need to change, make sure I have all the appropriate color threads, okay? sweetie can you move can you move because i gotta move the table by the machine all right he's gonna have to move because this is just ridiculous oh this dog i tell you all right so anyway guys um all right come on mellow let's go good boy thank you you know i love you i'm gonna move this the other way watch your head all right there you go okay guys um i have as you can see, very time consuming changing all of the color threads and everything like that. Um, you know, that's what they pay for. You know, it's, it's a service. Um, so now I have this. I always love pulling this on there. Now, one of the things, too, is I totally forgot is let me get my, my little table. This comes with the um, 10, the, 
the machine. I have a brother, uh, 1055X. Love this thing, okay? Um, very easy to put on. It's a little heavy, but it's, it's easy to put on. See, snaps right in. There you go. Done, okay? I mean, isn't that great? So I love that. And it's really, really great for when you're doing blankets and, you know, large items and stuff. So I really love it. I always use this. And I also use my rolling table. The reason why I like using my rolling table is because it kind of helps a little bit with the weight, you know. So I like to have that. So I want to make sure you guys can see everything that I'm doing and you you can. Okay, awesome. All right, so um, I'm going to now place this on my machine. Let me take this over. Okay, and this is usually how I do it. I like to drape it on my, my rolling table. This is the rolling table that I got from Michaels. I got a video I'm showing you how you can actually get this. I think the, the table is $99 at Michaels, but you don't have to pay $99. You can get it actually cheaper, and I have a video on that on the channel. So, you know, just so that you know, in case you want to get this, because this is a really, really good, uh, good table to have. I love it that I get to roll it all over the place with me. So now I am going to position my blanket on here and I always like to take my time I don't like to rush um first of all I don't like rushing because I actually enjoy doing this and um you know it's something fun to do I have to change this make it big you know I like to I like to I, I, I love embroidering so I actually enjoy watching the machine stitch I enjoy making different stuff, and I actually like making stuff for people. So, I mean, it's a really neat craft. It's something that I truly, truly enjoy. So, I don't like to, to rush it. I like to just enjoy the moments and stuff. Okay, so, all right. So, what I do is I like to make it nice and, you know, spread out. I don't like anything to get caught. I like it to just go in naturally. You know, see how it goes in really nice and snug and everything. So once I have this in here and I have this all, all spread out and it's good. Now let me take you over to it so that you guys can see a little more of what I do. All right, so I have this all spread out really nice and neat and everything. Um, I have to hit OK because I did expand this a little bit, you know, because I had it on a smaller hoop and I, and I expanded it. So now one of the things that I really love about this machine is the scanning capability. And I always like to scan before I actually embroider something on this machine, okay? And I'm going to show you what it does, which is like really, really neat. I've, I've shown this in other videos, but just in case you're new to my channel, you get to see what happens. Okay, see, this actually shows you. Let's take a look at this a little bit closer. As you can see right here, this is a picture of my hoop. See how the little silver things are right there on the side, okay? And this shows where the actual design is going to be embroidered, sorry, on here, okay? Now, this is what I love about this machine. If you look right here, you're going to notice that the elephant is going to be a little bit over here by this edge right here, right? See how it is right here? I don't want that. I want this to be a little more on here. So just as I have it here, I can click on here and it moves. See how it moved that? So now the elephant isn't going to be right here on this angle. Oops, okay, I moved it a little bit too much. I think I do want it a little bit closer. There, that's perfect. So see how it is? It's, it comes out really perfect. I can even move it down a little bit if I choose. And I want to, and that looks really, really good. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it. And the reason why I want to trace it is because I want to make sure that the needles, okay, don't hit, okay? I don't want it to hit any of the side of my Mighty Hoop, okay? Because remember, this is an after uh, aftermarket item, okay? So, you know, I don't. I, you know, it's not something from brother. So I want to make sure that it does not hit this, the area. It shouldn't, but I always, I always, always 
trace you never never know because there has been a time when once it did happen and that's where you have the little rough edges right here the machine hit that and you don't want to damage that so i'm going to do a trace and it's going to pull down one of the needles it's going to show me exactly where it's going to embroider and it doesn't even look like it's going to be near the side yes it is right here this is going to be the side and that's going to hit that okay awesome thank goodness that i did that so this is what i'm going to do to prevent the needle from hitting the back of this okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit edit i'm going to hit size and i'm just going to make all this just a little bit smaller so i'm going to push it in it's okay and and the edit and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it again because I want to make sure that this needle isn't going to even come close to the back of this. So let's see if that did the trick, okay? Perfect. That did do the trick. Now, one of the things that I noticed is there is a lot of space over here and there's pretty little bit of space over here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna move it just a tad there you go and i'm gonna trace it one more time always be careful it's kind of like that little saying measure twice cut once while well, i'm measuring i'm measuring two three four times before i hit and bore okay perfect it looks like it's gonna be exactly okay um exactly where i want it to be all right so you know i already changed all my color threads and all my color threads are on there it's exactly where i want it to be on the blanket it's not going to hit any of the sides so i am good to go so right now i'm going to hit embroider and then i'm just going to unlock and hit okay and just let the magic happen
done, done, done. Okay, so let's take this out and let's see what we got. Um, all right, I'm gonna take this off the machine. Came out really, really cute. Look at that. Look at that. Came out awesome. Let me adjust the camera so you guys can see really well. Um, I like to move this. I've got you on a tripod here. And let me move this over. And um, let me bring it off. Okay, guys, so here it is. This is the final product. Came out really cute. Okay, I'm gonna take it off of the hoop so we can take a look at it. Um, there we go. Off the hoop. Um, let me take the bottom of the hoop out. Okay. There we go. Let's put this over here on the side. There we go. All right. So. Now what I do is on the back, I just I just rip off the stabilizer in the back and that's it. I don't put tender touch on this because it's not really necessary. It's a blanket. The baby's not gonna lay on the opposite side. It's really gonna he's gonna really lay on the other side. I mean you can if you want. It's not a problem. If you want to do that, maybe I should. Just to, uh, let me see how much t tender touch I would have to put. I don't think a lot. I could just easily just iron this and put tender touch on there. It's not a big deal. Let me see. All right, so I have a roll right here, and I don't even think I need that much. Let me see. Well, it's not really going to cover anything, so I'm, I'm going to leave it without the tender touch. I don't think it's necessary. To put the tender touch behind it so i'm not gonna do it um it's just a uh, more expense and it's not really uh necessary i think this this is fine the way it is okay here you go now let's just fold it up nice and neat that's usually what i do in this situation now is i just fold it um, fold it nice and neat so that I can package it up. Came out really cute. I like it. There we go. Um, let's see. Could have folded it a little bit better this way. Okay. I always like to package it really nice because, you know, you're sending it to a customer, so you want it to be pretty nice, okay? So, there you go. This is a nice length here, okay? And then, let me just fold it this way. There you go. And then... Nicely, and then here we go. This is nice. Okay, there's a lot of like stuff on there. I hope this isn't dirt and stuff. Sometimes some of these blankets come a little bit distorted and stuff, but once you wash them, it goes away. Okay, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and wrap it and I think I'm gonna have to fold it another way, which is fine. Okay, I'll just, I'm not gonna waste your time watching me uh, package this, but this is the outcome. This is how it looks, really, really cute and stuff. So guys, hope you like this video and you give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and please join me on Fridays at eight o'clock um, standard um, Eastern time. I do um, embroidery happy hour. So hope you guys like this, isn't it cute? I like it a lot. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.